Hey everyone, Matt out here. <laughs> Feels weird saying that. This is gonna be a different style of video. There's gonna be no scripts, no cuts, just me talking about my past year as a security analyst. So, buckle up. Uh, this has been a crazy year for me. A lot of life changes, um, personally, which I won't get into because it's very sad. And I don't wanna bum you out. But this past year has been a lot of realizations in my life and uh, maybe it'll help some of you. Maybe it won't and it's just me venting, but either way, uh, this past month in October, I reached my one year anniversary. Um, I know I wanted to be out of this job sooner than I am, but the job market right now is just something else, I tell you. I don't really know what to make of it. It's, it's just tough. Is what it is. I applied for a bunch of jobs before I got my CISSP, um, and those didn't go anywhere, which I guess is not surprising considering I did my uh, similar spray and pray tactic where I didn't really customize any of the uh, job descriptions to my resume. Uh, so I'm going to be applying for jobs pretty much this entire month. I'll, I'll, I'll slow down on the video making um, just because I'm feeling burnt out <laughs> and I feel like after obtaining the CSSP, I should be able to get something that pays a fair bit more than I, where I'm at right now in my current position, which isn't, it's on, without giving you a hard number, it's on the bottom end of a security analyst. And I, not to sound arrogant, I know I'm capable of doing <laughs> a little bit more with my brain. <laughs> and that, I've kind of just been pigeonholed into a ticket jockey um, slash threat rule detection writer. And it is just, it, it's, the threat writing is more fun, but it's still, it's burning me out very quickly. And I'm just kind of like a mindless zombie at, at work where I just go through the motions and I go through the same cycle of uh, investigating these alerts. So we have all these tools, alerts come in, and I have to decide, is this weird activity or is it fine? And 99.9% .9 of the time, it is fine. Because that's what the rules are intended to catch. You can't make a rule perfect for every bit of activity. There's always going to be false positives, outliers. And so for that, uh, it kind of means I've passed my honeymoon phase. I don't know if any of you have experienced the honeymoon phase at any of your jobs. If it's a job that you care about, and is part of your long-term goals and career, especially if this is cybersecurity position, the first few months, six months, I don't know, everybody reaches the threshold differently, but it's where you're excited, it's, it's fun, everything's new, uh, the people that work there are great, and then slowly but surely, these little quirks about your coworkers and about the, the job and your day-to-day -day responsibilities, start to become more and more evident and you start to realize uh, I guess how it's not a perfect job but at least for this position it was I mean this is pretty much a perfect job for, if I had this job when I was just out of fresh out of college or even high school um, and if I was single then it'd, it'd be more than enough I could pay for everything I needed to pay for I could live in a sweet apartment and some high rise, but that's not my life right now. I have four kids that I gotta provide for, so I gotta do everything and anything in my power to provide. So that's a lot of stress, but um, it's the, the life that I chose. And so for that reason, I have to try to find something different. And it's kind of my motivation moving forward for everything. So if that's one thing you lack, you just need to find your motivation to get your butt going and, and learn and get to where you want to be because I got to tell you working from home for uh, very little work honestly I don't have to do much throughout my day other than the mandatory meetings I'm free to do whatever I want my boss doesn't bug us uh, he doesn't breathe down our necks hey why aren't your tickets getting done quicker we have the like the past year has been the most relaxing job I've ever had in my life but it's also the I've <laughs> I, I don't have anything left to really learn that is going to help me in the long run. I can learn 
about every one of the tools, but even the most senior analysts on our team who's been working for 10, 20 years, I'm not, I'm not actually exactly sure how long he's been here, he still learns daily new quirks about the tools and what you can and can't do with them. And you don't need to know all the quirks if your general understanding of investigations is there and principles. So I'm just thinking, why waste my time doing the nitty gritty of all these little tools when I don't plan on being here forever? Because I spoke to my recruiter and it's, he said he'd get back to me within a week, but I don't think there's going to be much of a, a pay bump. And that's kind of the, the problem with cybersecurity roles and uh, well, any tech job, really, is that your biggest way of getting a pay bump is by going to another company, generally speaking. You're never going to get a 25, 30% bump in pay like you could moving companies uh, in the company you're currently at because they're paying you what they're paying you for a reason. And even if you do an outstanding job, they're only going to give you a like pat on the back raise. <laughs> Probably not even enough to compete with inflation these days, which is, I want to say like 8% or something. I don't keep up with inflation, but it's very high and <laughs> raises don't keep up with it. So I'm not going to be expecting much of a raise at all. So I just have to start applying. And with my CSSP, it should be hopefully a little bit easier to get a, a higher paying job, but that's what I'm going to be focusing on this next month or so. Um, I'll, I'll probably still sprinkle in some videos just because I like making them and I like doing all the crazy edits and the cuts. I don't know if I've, I've, some of you have said that you don't like the memes and the, the videos and the cuts, but I, I enjoy making them. I enjoy sliding them in out of nowhere. <laughs> I get a kick out of it, but I'll continue doing that formatting. I just wanted to kind of just have a one-on-one -on -one with all of you wonderful patrons and sub subscribers to the <laughs> the Mad Hat channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the burnout is real, and I'm feeling very burnt out, and I want to make videos that are kind of like skits almost, but those don't really seem to be doing that well. Um, it seems like more of a career advice is going to be what people are looking for and what my my algorithm is pushing me towards but i'll still sprinkle them in just because i like making them in they're fun but youtube's weird like that you kind of have to experiment some stuff is just not going to do so good and i'd like to make all the videos that you're recommending but i only have so much time in my my day-to-day -day and yeah i this is just me kind of venting about the past year. It's it's hard getting a job, but then once you're in the job, grass is always greener on the other side, right? You always want something more. In my case, I'm not trying to be like greedy and ask for more than I'm worth. I feel like I'm worth more than I'm getting paid for. And I felt like I started the job far more experienced than all the other people they hired when they started. Um, Case in point, the person that got hired with me was in the middle of his bachelor's program, and I already completed my bachelor's program, had a couple years of tech support help desk, so I was a little bit more experienced. And I just feel like it's ready to, <laughs> I'm ready to move on. And yeah, uh, if you have any questions, shoot them down below about my day to day. Uh, it's really a very mundane job. But I know for a lot of you, it'd probably be a sweet gig. But I got a lot to support uh, and a lot of, of needs. And I feel like it's doable. I feel like I can get that job. But yeah, that's just my, my one year update. And uh, I'm not sure what, what direction that the channel will go into. The last few videos uh, where I was kind of experimenting <laughs> with with topics that I'm interested in didn't really seem to uh, register all that well <laughs> on the on the alg algorithm. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.